Good morning to you, Coyote, and of course to everyone still watching us live at our channel's television. This is actually the Emo State Coalition Center in Oweri, and um, as you can see, um, it's, uh, we, we, it's currently on, uh, on, on our break. We actually went on break at about 2.30, and of course by 3.30 or so, the house would reconvene again. If you look at the background right now, you see uh, people are actually relaxing because um, th they came in quite early. When we got here very early in the morning, you know, we saw a lot of these people. And of course, um, unfortunately, the process did not start as early as um, um, as it was planned. Yeah, you, you know, we left, so we got here around um, 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. and. Afterwards, we met with the rec who told us that um, the um, coalition will start at, at about 11, 12, mm -hmm. but not until 9 p.m., mm -hmm. you know, when they started, um, like, four local governments came out of 27 local governments, four came in, and they had to wait for some of that to come before they started. So the coalition started about 9.30 p.m., exactly. and, and you could see people are still here, mm -hmm. you know, for the break, then people would start again by 3, 30 or so something. We, 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 we go on from there. Okay, and uh, so far about nine local governments have been, uh, yes, yes, yeah, right. resort for about nine, nine local governments yeah. have actually been called. Yeah. And of course, we are looking at a total of 27 local government area. So I'm sure we're going to be here till much later in the day. And um, we, we, we really can't tell how, how long that would take. For nine local governments, we've done that for over six hours. You know, to do nine local government. Now, when we spoke to the rec earlier on, that that was yesterday, early morning yesterday, he told us that there was um, a reshuffling process that took place, and so they had to replace some of the um, original um, uh, coalition, coalition, coalition officers. officers you, know, yeah. you know, and that affected. And they had the to process. bring new ones from Oka, mm -hmm. as in that. Um, University, university in Oka to take over from some people. Why they also added some other people from the Federal University of Technology Futo to the coalition um, officers. So that, like you said, that that caused the de delay. Yeah, you know, so. yeah exactly. And um, but um, right now the, um, the the coalition has started, as we um, uh, as we've seen, and of course. Um, there are still a lot of party agents here. We have um, journalists still very much here, observer groups. And of course, if you go outside, you remember we went outside and we saw a lot yeah, of party, party supporters. supporters yeah. They are waiting, waiting to see um, who wins the election. And of course, uh, some had already started celebrating. I really don't know where they got their information from. But um, um, in the next couple of minutes, hopefully, the rec, the returning officer, and then um, um, all the coalition officers should come in and of course they would be able to give us um, 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 more you know on the coalition process yeah, talking, you have the names of some of them yeah talk, talk, talking about um, the returning officer you know as a, um, he's, he's the vice chancellor of um, University of Agriculture in UDK he's really shown maturity he's been able to handle the you know, elections are emotional and so he's been able to handle the party agents the observers you know when it comes to arguments um, not um, the, the, the conversations and they're not telling with um, what they want and so he's been able to handle the situation and he's done it perfectly well you know and because without that maturity maybe we would have even been staying longer than this here and uh, so you were trying to ask a question earlier yeah you have the names of some of yeah, the yeah. local government that have been uh, uh, dealt with so far I know um, uh, we have inquiry Yes. We have Abombise, we have Ikedu, we have um, Onimo, we have um, Owe Municipal, we have Umbitoli, we have Osu local government area, we also have um, Oguta local government, and the last one that was um, collated before the break, exactly. which is the Uwangeli local government area. Exactly, and of course, uh, Uwangeli local government uh, area, you remember uh, the CP mentioned that part as... Um, no, that's the one where it's uh, Ungokwala. Okay, Ungokwala, Ungo yeah. Earlier, uh, um, earlier yesterday also, we got... Um, we were here 
when we got uh, a report that uh, the Ungopala INEX Center had been uh, uh, set on, on fire. But um, we are still expecting more information from um, from that uh, locality. But for now, people are waiting for this result. You know, Imo State, when they say Imo State, um, it's a flashpoint. I actually didn't know how much that uh, well, I think weight. it's only in most day we still have this kind of um, late coalition. We're just nine, nine um, local governments out of 27 local governments are being collated. In some other states, some people are already jubilating. <laughs> we already have winners, losers in the election. So, but in most states, we are still waiting patiently for the final um, coalition of the 27 local governments in the United States. Yeah, definitely. We are still waiting and of course we will still be here because I know any moment from now the coalition will resume and of course um, we'll get to bring you details you know every moment all the way and of course during the coalition we also had some uh, some drawbacks some sub points where some of the coalition officers oh, yeah. could not really deliver as much. Are you concerned about that? Yeah, you know, um, recently, if you if you come through the social media, you know, you'd have seen a lot of things about um, the returning of professors. You know, they come around. I, I want to believe maybe it's because of the, um, the the stress in the job collecting for three days. Most of them tell you they've been there for three days, three nights without um, sleep, without food. You know, so maybe that that yeah, alone might be my man yeah, because most of them come here to even call the figures, you know, exactly to add up the figures. They miss the figures, you know. So the returning officer will have to talk to them and tell them to, you know, add, adjust it again, add it up again, and get the right figure, you know. But I just want to believe is the is the stress over time, you know. It's not been easy three nights staying all over trying to election is it's, it's not easy. It's, yeah, it's a it's a whole lot. And, um, I, you know, while uh, we were outside, we heard some people say, uh, why can't we use younger people to do this, that uh, it would go faster. But beyond even bringing in younger people to do this, we're also looking at the process. Can we make this process less cumbersome? Imagine the numbers of hours we've spent, you know, yeah. being here. I uh, don't even know what we're going to be done with, with the collation, maybe till 6 p.m., who knows? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so, so it's, uh, uh, we, we, th there is this uh, agitation that the process should be reviewed, the electoral process generally, where people can actually vote from the Just comfort like of the your homes. Just we spoke to yesterday, you know, she made mention of the electronic voting, yeah. where the voting process would be simple, you know, mm -hmm. so people, mm -hmm. Even anywhere you could be anywhere in, in Nigeria and you vote easily and um, it's it's simple, you know, but we'll get there someday. We'll get there someday. Mm, yeah, so, well, it's all good. It's all good. Um, definitely, we would see um, improvement with time because even talk 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 about the smart card reader. You know, it wasn't part of the process, but yeah, now exactly. it's uh, it's been accepted, mm -hmm. and of course, I do. There were still concerns about how functional the uh, smart card readers are. Because you went to some areas where uh, it couldn't read the, fr yeah. the fingerprints of some people, though it could read the card, but not the fingerprint. And I think um, that also was a problem. It may have led to a lot of uh, voided votes. Yeah, yeah, well, the, you, you remember some coalition officers from the um, local government also made mention of some areas where um, the card reader malfunctioned and mm -hmm. they couldn't use it. You know, so and some places they had to cancel those votes in those areas because of um, INEX and rule on. Um, card readers. Yeah, so exactly. it's, it's, it's also a very big problem. It, it's a big challenge because the numbers of voided votes is so enormous. Um, from the results that have been read so far, um, lots of voided votes, cancelled votes, you know, and um, you know, this would entirely, would affect the entire process ultimately. We're, we're hoping we get, Chris? we move past this um, level to a level where the Chris, you're talking about uh, voided votes. Now, it's emo state, you know. And of course, every member of um, every governorship aspirant, you know, they, they actually uh, all around having meetings, one meeting or the other. We saw APC, they had a meeting um, also. We saw uh, some of the other governors, they've been having meetings. 
some have been actually condemning the process. They, Chris, if they, you can hear me. They feel the process hadn't been that smooth. You monitored the election in some parts, you know. You saw some of these itches, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, the thing is, when, during the voting process, mm -hmm. Some of these governorship candidates were also the ones that told us that the um, voting process, they were commending INEC and security operatives, telling them that um, the election process was free, fair, and um, everything went smoothly. For now, we're hearing another story. So it's, you know, you can't, you can't, you, you can't reconcile both um, because the, the, the results have started trickling now, so mm. they started knowing their fate. Yeah, we are here. Um, uh, right, it's early in the morning. Uh, Charles Coyote uh, in the studio. I mean, I didn't know you've you've gotten a lot of results. You've gotten a lot of information. Um, could you just give us a brief idea of uh, what you think about the election generally, Coyote or Charles? <laughs> <laughs> well, what we think um, here in Lagos, um, we we seem to be. Uh, the ones interested in what's coming from the field because you give you guys give us material to work with um, because we don't work in silos we, we receive information from the field oh this has happened here this has happened here and we, we just try to make sense mm. of, of, of the whole situation yeah but um, essentially um, just a moment Charles essentially we, we know it's been hardcore uh, since you went to the field, you're chasing the, the numbers uh, and all of that. But can you share with us any of, uh, if you had any, any, um, any moments of humanity? Probably you saw something happen, uh, probably when you saw, you know, Nigerians show, show a sense of conviviality and all of that. Do you have any, anything of interest to share with us? Um, um, Kylie, you see, we had lots of, lots of beautiful moments, actually. Um, but I think we would have time to do that, because right now, this hall, the collision center is reconvening. As Absolutely. you can see, people are already coming in. And um, the, the wreck is here. It, yeah, the wreck is um, already seated. The Absolutely. returning officer is seated. All right. That means the collision process All right, so take it away, Chris. right now in Emo State. Take it away, Hello? Chris. <laughs> Yeah, all right, okay. So um, right now, so just stay with us on Channels Television. This is the Emo State Collision Center. And of course, more resorts will be trickling in. We've gotten nine already. And of course, tw um, uh, we have um, 18 more to go. So stay with us and um, don't go away.